My name is Mathieu Bossadet, and although I'm not a classically trained chef, my passion for cooking and refined palate have earned me great respect in the culinary industry. Join me as I taste my way around the world, one bite at a time. This is Taking a Bite, Ottawa. Wow. Here we go. The beautiful plates we just prepared in the kitchen. Now, Eric, I mean, one of the most common questions I get is, how do I pair wine with food? Today what we're gonna do, four wines, all completely different. And I'm Excellent. doing two whites, two reds. But we're gonna pair the flavors appropriately based on the beautiful uh, beet smoked beet fettuccine. Oh man, I'm really excited for this. Me too. First wine, Sicily, active volcano, Mount Etna. This is a uh, grape varietal called uh, Inzolia. Okay. Translation, salt, mineral. So this right. wine's gonna like explode with lemon. Uh, so we got great acidity, right. which is super important to you know, cleanse the palate through each bite. So every time yeah. you have a bite, you take a sip, you're ready for another bite. Right. We're dosing the wine. Tons of lemon peel. Wow. It's like, honestly, we don't have to go too complex. That's wow. the first aroma. That's crazy. Salinity, That's getting Very off the plane. Fresh. Yeah. Salad, you get that humidity, that salt yeah. in that air. That's there. Right, from those lemon groves. First sip, tons of acidity, I'm sure. But acidity in like a good way. Mm. Makes your mouth water brings up the flavor. It's like adding the lemon to the pasta. You always taste your wine first, and then we're gonna taste the pasta. Okay. And then, right before you're done like chewing and swallowing the food, again, weird, you're gonna take some wine with the food, and then you're gonna get that chemical reaction. And see if that pairing and if they is work. perfect. All right. And right, let's do this. Hey, you guys start. Just I both might. beautiful I and great. <laughs> Have that. Thank you. So again, we're tasting the pasta. Mmm. Mmm. Brian. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. That smoked beet. I was gonna say the smoke. <laughs> so the good. smoke is, is my favorite thing because it's there. Wow. But it's light. It's yeah, I know. It's, it's not, present. It doesn't take over everything. Yeah. yeah. The capers add a great salty, and then the candied lemon lemon That's zest is, is fantastic. And then now you have the food so, in your mouth. You're tasting the wine. All right. As wow. much as I thought this would be the one, this works well. But maybe the lemon has come, kind of gone a little too much. Right, yeah, it's, it's very lemony. So After eating that, you get a lot lemon. of lemon. So, All right. good pairing, not the best. So, right. let's go to the next wine, but we're gonna have to finish All this right. one. All right, cheers, guys. Cheers, boys. Cheers. All right, so the idea here again, we're gonna do four different wines. This wine has more flavor, more aromas, and more texture than the other wine. Now we're going to France. To France. We're gonna do a Italian pasta with a French wine. This is a Grenache Blanc dominated blend. There's five different grapes. This wine, biodynamic. They don't add yeast for the fermentation. Okay. It's natural from the skin. Aroma here, floral. Uh, you're getting more like tree fruit. It's not citrus fruit. This is wow. peach, floral. Uh, deep, there's this like deep creaminess trailer, yeah. that comes through on the nose too. Now how will it interact with the pasta? Mmm. Yeah. Oh, 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 and it's funny because mm. like, it changes. Like this to like me, I one. didn't think this would actually work better than the other one. What we did is we actually kind of went with similar cream texture in our mouth, actually worked with this creamy, it's that feel, this, yeah, yeah, for this sure. velvety texture yeah. and weight. It's almost, I want to say caramelization, like it's like yeah. the oak that kind of- But in that, that, way, that makes sense, right? Because we kind of caramelized the onions mm -hmm. and you kind of got that flavoring of the onion and the caramelization. It's, it's almost contrasting, but at the same time complementing. So we don't have that high mm. level of, of lemon popping through. Yeah. We've got a deeper flavor, but the contrast is kind of well, melding then, really you, well. You can have this lemon that goes with it rather than yeah. too much lemon. Yeah. So yeah. We're gonna go back to Sicily and we're gonna try a red wine. Now we're at Mount Etna. The grape varietal here is called Nerello Mascalese. And Fun to say, my accent's probably not exactly <laughs> correct. And it's grown on the hillsides of the volcano. Wow. The first thing that comes in my mind, there's like this ashy smokiness. Right. Yeah, yeah. And that's why we first paired this with this pasta. Wow. If you're gonna compare it to a wine, because people like to say, hmm. well, what is this wine like? It's gonna be same structure as Pinot Noir. Great acidity, Okay. soft tannin. So tannins are the texture you get from the skins of the grape right. that create that feel. So I would say this is kind of like velvety. Okay. 
Also you great. definitely get the ash smoke flavor from the from the wine. More after the pasta. Yeah, it's, it kind of oh, activates, right? It's it, kind of yeah, interesting. It, like it, it, it deepens it almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cleanses the palate, and you taste the wine more than the pasta. So does that make it a good pairing? Now it's not a bad pairing because we don't have a negative interaction. No. But now I taste the wine more than the, 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 uh, dish. the pasta. Now we're going completely different. Completely different. We are going full body, full flavored, tannic red. We are going to Tuscany. This here is Sangiovese Grosso, blended with Merlot. Uh, so here we're looking at a deeper, darker. Right. So this should be deep, dark, maybe we're gonna get tobacco notes, which we do, pepper notes. Uh, and then like dark, like stewed fruit almost, or dried fruit. Mm -hmm. There's definitely far more complexity to it. Right? Oh yeah, yes. there's yeah. definitely, there's depth there, man. Again, this is a beautiful wine. All four of these wines are great wines. Really, wine pairings do come down to a preference, right? I mean, ultimately, if you don't like that wine, it's just not gonna work. Yeah, and as a sommelier, my job is to go to the table and find out what do they like. How do we communicate between each other to say, what do you like when you don't have the same terminology as you know, what I'm trained to talk about with wine? I think the white is great and it's bold, but I think it's almost too bold. Yeah. In this, in this case. It's and there's a negative. It's you hard. Yeah. And there's a negative reaction in my mouth that's creating this acidity. Oh, yeah. And oh, uh, wow, eh? That yeah. comes out big, and then you have bitterness that comes yeah. through. And it almost dries your the, tongue right out. Yeah. And this is tannins. Tannins going with cream, going with the, the lemon flavor, yeah. the acidity here. I think we're all probably going to be on the consensus, right. but there's one wine here that I feel was harmonious. Yeah, absolutely. Which yeah. is not the one I thought was going to be. Right. There is one that was not good, yeah. which we just had. Mm -hmm. It's a great wine, but with this pass, it created negative. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, they're all great products. Depending on what you're making, depending on what you're eating, and depending on what your tastes are, you're going to, you're going to change. It's going to change mm -hmm. for every person. I think I mean the best part about wine pairings and trying your food with different wines is that you get to try different wines, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you go into the store and you buy several different wines um, based on the different profiles, and then you can pair them. So I mean, it's great. It's a great experience that you can even do at home. So winner was a French wine with an Italian pasta. A French wine French with Italian yeah. pasta. Yeah, uh, and it's uh, beautiful. All right. Again, my rules. I thought this would be the best. Right. And we saw that there was. Too much lemon. Too much lemon. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, guys, Eric, yeah. Chef Ryan, it's, been, it's pleasure. been a pleasure. Thanks again. Looking forward to our next uh, meal and uh, and wine. Oh yeah. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers. You're gonna have to fill yours up. Yes. <laughs> I kept the last sip. You know. All right. I'm a pro.